Um, all right, so in this example, I believe the problem, um, actually Kelsey is set equal to zero, but let's just pretend it was set equal to y. We know the first thing we'd want to do anyways is make sure our equation is set equal to zero. So we'd write it equal to zero. Now, what I taught you guys last class period is to always look to factor out a GCF, right? And we practice factoring out an x. The problem is not all of these three terms have an x, right? So we can't factor out a GCF. So the last problem that I talked about with factoring was one that you can factor where it's still to the fourth power. Now, hopefully you guys remember that factoring a trinomial is going to produce a product of two binomials, correct? And previously what we did is we found out you know, what two numbers multiply to give us 9 and then add to give us negative 10. And we basically took those values and we put them in for here because we always knew that the first two terms are going to multiply to give us x squared. However, the problem with this is x times x gives you x squared, right? When you do FOIL, x times x gives you x squared, right? We need to get it to x to the fourth. So for the rest of the problems for number 10 or number 9, 11, 13, 15, and whatever else you guys had up there, you got to put it to the power. You got to put it to squared. Because x squared times x squared gives you x to the fourth, right? Now let's figure out what two numbers multiply to give you 9, positive 9, but then add to give you negative 10. If they're adding to give you negative 10, we know both the factors have to be negative, correct? Yes, and you get it? So we have negative 9 and negative 1. Since my a is equal to 1, those are my factors. Perfect. Now, they, didn't, they said to solve, though, right? That's all I asked you guys to do was just to factor this, correct? So now, for tonight's homework, you're going to solve this. To solve this, we have to use the zero prog property. So we'd say x squared minus 9 equals 0, and x squared minus 1 equals 0. Well, to solve, you add 9 to both sides. So x squared equals 9. You add 1 to both sides. x squared equals 1. Now, to undo squaring, just like we undid the cubing by taking the cube root, to undo squaring, we take the square root of both sides. Just remember, though, when we're taking the even root of a number, we have to include the positive and the negative. So therefore, x equals plus or minus 3. x equals plus or minus 1. Now, does that make sense? What is the degree of that polynomial we're solving? 4, right? So how many solutions should we have? 4. All of our solutions are real, right? There is no i in these problems, correct, or in this one? Yes? If you're going to write this, OK, well, good question. So that's a really good point, because um, let's say I was going to say, hey, what is the, like, the multiplicity of your zeros, right? Is this, are these factors in linear form? No. These factors are in um, quadratic form, right? You can't determine the multiplicity when you have factors that are in quadratic form. So if we know the zeros are x equals 3, x equals negative 1, x equals, or I'm sorry, negative 3, x equals 1, and x equals negative 1. If given the zeros, can we write the factors? Yes, we could say x, equal, or x plus 3, x minus 3, x minus 1, and x plus 1. So those are, all, those are all the zeros written as factors. Now, are they all linear factors? And you guys can see that they all have a multiplicity of? One. So therefore, all of these zeros are not only real zeros, but they all have a multiplicity of 1, which is odd. So that tells you that they cross when they have the intercept on the x-axis. Question? I just want you to do this to solve it. You just need to solve. You don't need to like write it in the linear factorization. But that was a really good question, so I figured I would answer it. Um, not that bad questions I don't answer, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, you could also write this as a solution set, right? Whatever, however you want to. But that's what you guys have to do for your homework. That's it.